I pity the fool that don't watch Whack Off Wednesdays. Once upon a time, there were four gay boys who went to the Glam Academy. And now they all work for me. My name is Sam. Well, after my success with the A-Team and with uh, the Rocky Balboa movie, I decided to venture off into my real passion because I believe I have the voice and I decided to get into music. So I just released my first single. It's called Treat Your Mother Right. And I pity the fool that doesn't treat their mother right. This song is for all of you mothers out there. This is for you. I really believe once the song starts to pick up at the clubs and, you know, on the radios, that it's really going to take off. And as far as my predictions for the year 2011, who? That's a long way, and I pity the fool that has to dream that far in advance. But if I have to have some kind of prediction, I believe that everything has some kind of graduating flow. Like from the letter A for A team is going to grow into something like G for G squad or Glam squad. Yes, I pity the fool that doesn't believe in the Glam squad of the future. So this week Sam wants us to reveal a time that we got caught wearing our mother's clothes or women's clothes and the reaction of the person that caught us. <laughs> I've never been a huge uh, wearing my mother's clothes kind of kid. I've never been really dragalicious. Women's clothing never worked for me. But if I have to share a secret about wearing women's clothing, I guess I can share one in particular that I have never shared with, never shared with anybody before. One time, I think I was in eighth grade. I wore, and I don't know why, I wore pantyhose and a jock strap to school. I was sitting there wearing my navy blue corduroys and under that I was wearing a pair of nude colored pantyhose and on top of the nude colored pantyhose I was wearing a jock strap. Ew. It was the most uncomfortable day that I ever had in school aside from the time that I pooped myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. When I finally got home I took, took it off and I thought, I don't know why, that Pantyhose go back to the same shape and size they were before you put them on. I thought that if I just folded them up, stuck it back in my mom's pantyhose drawer, that they would eventually shrink back to the same size they were. She never asked directly if I was wearing the pantyhose, but I remember she looked at me funny. <laughs> Who would you do, Susan Boyle or Precious? Neither, but I'd have lunch with Precious. Who would you ever consider using food during sex? No. Whose concert would you see first if given free tickets? Britney Spears or Lady Gaga? Gaga. How old were you when you first discovered sex? 12. Do you believe in second chances if you were cheated on by your boyfriend? Um, I believe in second chances, but if you can't get over the trust issue or you can't regain the trust, no, it's not going to work. All right, my Glabulous Glam Squad, that's it for me this week. But before I go, I did want to say thanks to the Gay Bay Boys, our sister channel, for being such good sports about our videos last week. You know we love you guys. And I'm actually glad to hear that their new comeback date is May 6th, so keep your eye out for them. All right, we'll talk to you guys again next week. Peace. Glad Squad, if you've missed our other videos, what are you waiting for? Click and watch.